I, I call this I, I, I call this first slide um, Top of the Pops 1974 uh, for the simple reason that the assembled digging crew could be mistaken for a, a local band during a, a doing a quirky photo shoot. Um, I can tell you that none of the seven in the photo um, had an archaeology degree and only two, uh, myself on the extreme left and the serious one in the middle, Stuart Brown, um, presumably the band manager in, in this scenario, uh, went on to pursue a career in archaeology. Um, the 1970s in Exeter saw almost continuous major open air excavations in advance of development, led by directors of the units, uh, Michael Griffith and the late uh, Chris Henderson. Uh, pioneering work also took place in building recording, um, and that was primarily by John Thorpe. But, but it was the discovery of the stone-built uh, military bathhouse at Cathedral Close, which you see here on the left, um, excavated by uh, Paul Bidwell, and the traces of wooden cohort barracks at the Guildhall site on the right, um, excavated by John Collis and uh, Chris Henderson, which put Exeter on the map as the confirmed site of a uh, legionary fortress, and in my case, inspired a, a, a love affair with Roman military archaeology. It was during those what might questionably, uh, given post-excavation resources, um, might be termed halcyon days for excavation, uh, that I discovered with one of, uh, within one of the Guildhall excavation sites, a pipe clay headless figurine of Venus. Um, it was found in the upper levels of a well, infilled in the late second or early third century. Now, not surprisingly, it caused something of a sensation in the local press. Um, and anyone who's ever de uh, dealt with, with, with local journalists uh, will know that they can let their imagination run, run wild with stories like this. Um, but to be fair, most of the reporting here, and you can see the rather uh, uh, dated uh, cutting from the time, um, most of the reporting here is actually uh, quoting the museum director of the time, uh, Stephen Locke. I suspect that everyone in the audience will be uh, familiar with these not uncommon uh, Venus statuettes, figurines. Um, the, the goddess is shown naked, uh, her right hand raised to touch a tress of hair and her left lowered by her side to hold a drape. And she was in, thought to be an imported um, example from Gaul of the late first or early second century. I was never quite sure, uh, I'm just trying to see it, yes, of my cursor. I, I was never quite sure whether we were dealing with a, a residual object from the time of the fortress or a, a curated object from the second century, uh, discarded perhaps when the head was lost in, in, in the third. Um, if she had a military uh, owner and hadn't traveled far, she would have been in the area of a building, um, possibly uh, on the left-hand si side here of the slide, possibly in uh, the area of the residence of the legionary commander, um, which might therefore be associated with um, high status building an occupant. Um, so I'm not really sure about that, um, given that the legion left Exeter around AD 75, uh, for a new base in, in Caerleon, then perhaps she had a, a, a civilian context and a, a civilian owner. And if so, on the right hand side, um, she was found just within Insula 8 uh, and the likely location of, uh, of, of Roman townhouses uh, to the left of the Forum and uh, Basilica of the, of, of the city the Civitas uh, Capital, of course. The Exa Venus um, was, uh, was, was rare. Um, 
but uh, she was uh, uh, sorry was not rare but she she was um, uh, she was unique for Exeter and her loss only three days after her discovery was grievous and and this is the way it happened um, the museum had put on a, a a private evening display for invited guests and the media, not for the Venus herself, um, but for the uh, future uh, public display of the uncovered legionary bathhouse in Cathedral Green. And the centerpiece was a model of the bathhouse, which you can see here on, on, the, on the left, and plans were already being costed up for the museum building which was to overlie the ruined walls uh, and this funding um, uh, there, there were clearly difficulties in, in in raising this amount of money locally and uh, by the council and so uh, the invitation was for benefactors to provide further um, the venus figure was added as an added uh, bonus also on display now, the following morning, she was, however, nowhere to be found. An appeal was put out uh, in the uh, Express and Echo, the same newspaper which had reported her discovery. The appeal for her return, and I think I've, uh, a sick cat has just arrived. We haven't had this before, so I'll just deal with that and get back to you. My apologies. Um, the the appeal for the Venus's return um, mentioned in in the press um, that she might have been packed away by a West Country TV crew from Plymouth who may have mistaken her for a light bulb, and this led to her unlikely appearance in the satirical magazine Private Eye, who considered such an unlikely occurrence to be worthy of a a further audience. Of course, I always lived in hope uh, that the Venus figure would reappear one day. And when I returned to Exeter in 2001, after uh, many years away, I thought that there was a possibility that she might still be in the city. After, after all, she had no monetary value to speak of. Um, so it was off to the local newspaper again. Uh, with a plea for her return, but sadly, uh, nothing, nothing came of it. Who knows, and this is my final slide, I, I may have one last try um, at finding her and getting her back uh, to where she belongs in the city of Exeter and in its new award-winning museum. If she ever did turn up, um, I would know her instance, instantly as she has a small, uh, a small scar on the lower abdomen, uh, just here, if I can get the cursor, just here. Um, as far as I know, however, the Romans did not practice the removal of the appendix by surgery, but perhaps someone over coffee uh, may tell me otherwise. Um, I think, I may be just about on time or just before. Um, so I'm going to say enjoy, it's coffee break next. Um, enjoy your coffee or indeed tea. And uh, at the end of this, I'm heading for the Earl Grey. Thank you. Thank you, John. What, what a mystery indeed. Did somebody get in touch with said film crew to find out if it was in a light bulb box? Yes, every, everything was tried, um, and unfortunately, <laughs> nothing ever 